Hey everybody, it's Andy aka Max Rider. We are back with another unboxing video. I haven't done one of these in forever it seems like because I haven't gotten anything in a long time but I broke down this week because I saw some stuff that I wanted and I just ordered this a couple days ago. It's coming from Walmart. Uh, I would I hate Walmart but I would rather order from Walmart than Amazon. They did do a pretty lousy job with packaging it sounds like. It looks like everything is just loose in here. So that's pretty awful. Oh, it's not loose. It's just mostly loose. All right, so we went for some cheap DVDs. <clears throat> First off, we have Coneheads. This isn't the one I initially uh, ordered, but it was inexpensive enough that I added it to the order. I wanted to up the order to $35 so I didn't have to pay any shipping. Let's see what kind of shape this disc is in. Oh, okay. It's on and it's in good shape. Let's, let's read the caption here. Hysterically funny. One look and you know it's from a very strange place. You know they're from a very strange place. They're from New Jersey, by way of France, by way of far off, far off, far out Remulac. They're cone heads and their comedy antics are heads above the crowd. Lampooning our blunt-headed civilization as only a conehead can, Dan Aykroyd and Jane Curtin star as megadomed Beldar and Primat. Newcomer Michelle Burke plays the teen daughter at odds with her parents' parental units. Michael McKean as an INS agent who, Mabs, wants to deport illegal alien Beldar, and many more comedy favorites add to the fun in this all-out laugh attack from Remulac. It's an excellent film. Also got Bean. Uh, this is the Mr. Bean movie. So I have Mr. Bean on DVD. I don't know if I did an unboxing video. I got it some time ago, but uh, this was relatively inexpensive and helped me make my way to $35. Oh, it looks like the shrink rack is sticking to the DVD case, which is annoying, but whatever. All right, let's see. One man, one masterpiece, one very big mistake. Call him hilarious, call him laugh out loud funny, but whatever you do, call him Bean. In the comedy that rocked America, Rowan Atkinson is the outrageous Mr. Bean sent on a mission to California to escort the world-famous painting of Whistler's Mother to its new home uh, in the Grierson Gallery. What the gallery owner, one of the richest men in America, and his curator, David Langley, Peter McNichol, believe is that Mr. Bean is Mr is Dr. Bean, a renowned art expert. In fact, he's just a sleepy-headed, wildly eccentric museum guard. He's also the clumsiest, craziest, wackiest, wildest, most bizarre character they, they have ever come across, and certainly not someone you'd entrust one of the world's most valuable paintings in. But they have, and now wreaking havoc in the Grierson galaxy and wrecking Langley's marriage is just the beginning. With only hours to go before the official unveiling of the museum's benefactor, General Newton, Burt Reynolds, Burt Reynolds is in this. Something terrible has happened to Whistler's mother, and only one man has the power to put it right. But the only problem is, the man is Bean. Very nice. Now here's what I actually wanted. The Russians are coming, the Russians are coming. I saw a clip from this. Um, I think it was on Facebook. And I've never seen this movie all the way through. I've, I've caught it once on television and loved it. So, I'm screw it. I'm, I wanted to watch it. This was this was the big expense of this this whole trip too. Anyway, mastered in HD. When sightseeing Soviet Canad commander Alan Arkin, the in-laws, runs his submarine aground off the New England bleh, can't talk the New England coast, his crew's attempts to find a boat to dislodge the sub almost starts World War Three. Arkin leads an all-star cast that includes Carl Reiner, Eva Marie Saint, Brian Keith, and Jonathan Winters in this riotous, uproarious, and side-splitting comedy. Russian Lieutenant Rosanoff Arkin and his crew hit the beaches of Massachusetts, unaware of the panic they're about to start. Despite the Russians' harmless intentions, the folks in town think a full-scale Soviet invasion has been launched. What's worse, their police, ch their police chief, Keith, has left his hysterical assistant, Winters, in charge. And the one man who knows the truth, Reiner, is only stirring up more chaos. The great Norman Jewison, in the heat of the night, uh, directs this wonderful comedy based on uh, the Nathaniel Benchley novel with the screenplay by William Rose, It's a Mad, 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 Mad World. The hilarious cast includes Paul Ford, Theodos, Theodore Bickle, and John Philip Law. Ooh, making a featurette, and the original theatrical trailer are also in this. Very, very, very cool. And finally, to round everything out, we've got Pee-wee's Big Adventure, uh, another movie that I really like and I do not believe to have on DVD. I haven't watched it in years, so we've got a lot of stuff we can watch here. When Pee Wee Met Tim, a comedy classic got hatched. Two of the most 
two of the most original talents in recent decades, Pee Wee Herman and director Tim Burton, teamed on what was to be their major breakthrough in this riotous, riotously funny movie about Pee Wee's cross-country search for his stolen bike. As Pee Wee encounters bikers, cowboys, crooks, and and a phantom trucker, large Marge, and passes through the Alamo and Warner Brothers Studios. Any resistance is futile. Unstoppable laughter always follows. Celebrate the one-of-a-kind magic that this mirthful, colorful, bountiful movie still packs. This is a fun little movie. And Danny Elfman did the music, so excellent. Uh, commentary by Paul Rubens and director Tim Burton. Additional scenes, production sketches, and storyboards. Music-only track with commentary by Danny Elfman. Uh, production notes, the actual trailer. Very, very cool. Nice. All right. So there's there we have it. That's my that's my haul. Uh, Forty dollars worth of, of movies. So thanks for watching, everybody. As always, I appreciate it, and I will talk to y'all next time.